So throughout the past six months, there has been a lot of news coming out regarding The Last of Us, and some of it has good news and some of it has bad news. In this video, we're going to go over everything that has been going on for the past six months and try to make some sort of conclusion as to where this IP is headed. And also, just a little FYI, I'm going to be talking about me at the end of the video, so thank you guys for everybody who stayed and even subscribed when I was gone, but I'm here, I'm back, and I'm better, so sit back, relax, and... Let's get into the video. So a little late last year, it was announced that the long away The Last of Us multiplayer was canceled and Naughty Dog is focusing on their new games coming out that are single player focused. And basically they kind of stated that if they wanted this game to actually be a reality, they would have to like dedicate all of their resources to maintain their live service game and neglecting any other future projects that they have in their pipeline. And with that being said, I mean, it does make sense why they would cancel this project. And while I am kind of bummed, I'm also actually really glad that they decided to take this sort of initiative and that's because for me like it's very awesome to have a nice live service game but there's also some games that are just forced down your throat and it feels nice to have Naughty Dog kind of have the courage and kind of stick up and stick to their guns. I also think a lot of these mechanics can be transferable to another project in the future so there isn't that much wasted time. I know some people are going to say how come Naughty Dog didn't know it would take that much resources or something along those lines or calling them a bluff but to be honest it makes a lot of sense and I respect them heavily for me making this hard decision. So moving on, we got some amazing casting announcements for The Last of Us Season 2. So Abby will be played by Caitlin Dever. I hope I'm not butchering her name. Young Mazzino will be playing Jesse, and he is from Beef, which if you have not seen it, it's an amazing, an amazing show. I recommend it highly. Isabella Merced, another great actress, is also playing Dina, recently known for Madam Web, but we'll not really talk about that movie right now. And this will also be alongside the original cast. However, I don't think Pedro will be in the series for so long, seeing as he just got casted for Reed Richards. Therefore, I am thinking that they might follow the source material very, very closely closely which i know is going to piss off a lot of people but anyways but seeing as he has to film the fantastic four movie itself i don't think he'll be in season two for so long also if you guys did not know part two would kind of be broken up into multiple seasons since it's so detailed and it's a very long story and this was announced like ages ago i think back before even season one released i think these castings are amazing and i think this adaptation might be better as a show seeing as the game was very jarring when switching perspectives and i know some people are going to feel some type of way about it again this just is what it is and if you don't want to watch it then don't watch the show if you don't like the second game then you probably won't like the show but me personally i will be watching the show and i hope everybody can enjoy it and maybe it's a better media we never really know we'll have to wait until we see it and as everybody know part two actually did get remastered and there are some new levels and some new modes and also it gave us a director's commentary about the game and i think this is a really really great addition to the story and i also think it's nice to see a more contextualized version of it however it is real and it did indeed release as a lot of people did expect so this is going to be the last but kind of the biggest topic in my personal opinion which is the idea of part three kind of being a thing and like let me sort of explained so recently Naughty Dog released a documentary on the development of part two and the struggles that they had to go through and I will say it's a phenomenal documentary and everybody should watch this video I think it has amazing 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 commentary and Neil Druckmann it does something insane with this documentary as he narrates it but he did leave a snippet or a little nugget of hope at the end of this now this is me going to paraphrase what he said this isn't beat by beat word for word what he said but this is kind of the consensus that you can understand what he is saying basically he said that Naughty Dog has the luxury to work on a different project and take that risk and that is something that he's very appreciative of and he does not take that for granted by any means and he did say that there was an outline for a story but believe this or not this was actually a spin-off story for Tommy and I'm assuming that it would be his time in Seattle or maybe a flashback back with him and Joel or in some sort of sense which to me is kind of crazy because this is what a lot of the fans want and he sort of elaborated saying that you know like this didn't really release but he does believe that this will see a lighter day in any form of media whether that be a cool DLC or this could be a game but to me this would be a 
instant slam dunk and this would be awesome as a cool dlc or maybe even a story narrative within part two or the tv show or maybe a small little mini series i think that would be phenomenal but as stated before and as people thought this was the outline for part three he kind of declined that as a official confirmation he just more so said it was a rumor and it was a misunderstanding but there is a story outline for tommy past the events of part two which to me is kind of insane and I think that would be something that the fans want for sure. Afterwards, he explains that he never had the right idea for a part three or a through line story until now and he alludes that there seems to be one more chapter of this story and then the documentary ends. Now, some people have taken this as, hey, part three is happening and it's a thing and this is an official confirmation or something as close as to what we will ever get for it. And as this documentary was being filmed or at the time of this filming it would have been like about a year ago and there was a lot of rumors coming out that part three was in development at naughty dog around that time so everything does sort of check out so what does this all really mean like what what is the alluding factor here or what is neil trying to say to the audience for me personally i think if you're reading between the lines neil is saying hey there are more stories and there will be like another game or another story within this universe and there's definitely different spin-offs and different types of stories to be told in this universe but i think this is very much like a soft confirmation and i know i don't really like to think about rumors or soft confirmations or whatever i like hardcore evidence but i think this is very much near to a yes than we will ever get and this is coming straight from neil Druckmann himself however i don't think we're gonna get an announcement or anything anytime soon and that's because i personally think naughty dog is working on their new ip but it also would make sense for them to confirm a new game because to think about it the last of us part two was confirmed about like three years after the original release on the ps3 so for them it's been about four years since part two came out and now this remaster came out so for them it would also make sense and it would fit in within their timeline and their previous track record and again we don't really know much about this new ip other than like it's set to be like some futuristic type of game but i mean this just looks to be great news for the last of us community since you know we got the news that the last of us online was being canned so i think this is enough confirmation for me to believe that they are working on part three or that they are going to have part three eventually but overall i would like to know what you guys think about all these things coming out within the past six months it's been a lot of news a lot of overwhelming a lot of excitement a lot of question marks and a lot of you know like teases here and there but i would love to know what you guys think down in the comments and most importantly to talk about me real quick i just want to say thank you guys for all the support i just didn't really feel like making anything that was subpar and i feel like that was very unfair to my viewers but most importantly there wasn't really anything coming out that i feel like i had to really talk about but now that i'm back i'm gonna start pumping out consistent videos and also i have been live streaming a lot more here on YouTube so if you guys want come stop by say hi say what's up to me come talk to me and come watch me play a ton of games with my friends while we have a great time I really do appreciate everybody who stuck around and even people who kept subscribing to me even after I really dormant for so long um, I just want to thank everybody and you know I hope you all enjoy the content and there's way more in the future but with that being said it has been your boy beast and of course I will see you guys in the next video